These small cap growth stocks are from outside the technology sector. For a change of pace, none of these small cap growth stocks are from the technology sector. Elf Beauty. It's giving SD Lauder a run for its money with quality products at reasonable prices. Mueller Industries. Its finances are as good as they come and its business isn't too shabby either. Ensign Group. It makes a difficult business look easy. Let's dive in. Here are the three small cap growth stocks to buy now. Welcome to Timely Investment Research. If you're looking for small cap growth stocks to buy an excellent place to start is by checking out the top holdings of small cap growth ADS, such as the SPDRS and P600 small cap growth ETF. SPDRS and P600 small cap growth ETF isn't the largest small cap growth ETF. That award goes to the Vanguard small cap growth ETF with $13.6 billion in total net assets. But I like it because it's got approximately half the holdings of Vanguard small cap growth ETF, making the culling of ideas that much easier. However, with $2.5 billion in total net assets, it's not exactly suffering from investor neglect. The companies that make SPDRS and P600 small cap growth ETF have higher than average sales growth over three years, the net three year earnings growth divided by the current share price, and a higher than average 12 month price change. Based on those criteria, the ETF has come up with 336 stocks. So I've whittled it down to three small cap growth stocks to buy now. The three selections are all from SBDRS and P600 small cap growth AVS top 25. Number 1. Elf Beauty. Elf Beauty is the 20th largest position in SPDRS and P600 small cap growth ETF with a weighting of 0.76%. The company, which stands for eyes, lips, and face, has a market cap of $4.0 billion. Although it's above the traditional definition of small cap stocks, the Financial Industry Regulatory Authority defines small caps as stocks between $250 million and $2 billion. It's not unusual for small cap ETS to own stocks with market caps above the ceiling and below the floor. It's all about delivering positive returns for investors. The company ran its first Super Bowl commercial this year starring Jennifer Coolidge, known for her role as Stifler's mom in the American Pie movies, and written by Mike White, creator of the HBO series White Lotus and Shadow, the company's longtime creative marketing and communications agency. When Elf Beauty went public in September 2016 at $17, it had annual revenue of $230 million. In 2022, it expects revenues of at least $478 million and adjusted net income of $59 million. In 2023, it expects sales growth of 38.5% at the midpoint of its guidance. While its stock is more expensive than at any point since it went public, you have to pay up for this kind of growth from a quality company. Number 2. Mueller Industries Mueller Industries is the 13th largest position in SPDRS and P600 small cap growth ETF with a 0.85% weighting. Mueller Industries dates back to 1917. Today, the manufacturer of copper, brass, aluminum, and plastic products to the plumbing, HVAC, and refrigeration end markets has $4.0 billion in annual revenue as of December 31, 2022. The best part of the company's November 2022 presentation if you're a conservative investor is the first point on pay. 3. It states, profitable throughout all economic cycles. Who doesn't like owning a piece of a recession-resistant, 106-year-old profitable company? The company's strong profitability, 44% return on invested capital, has led to excellent total shareholder returns. Between 2008 and 2021, it averaged 16% compound annual growth. So if you invested $10,000 at the beginning of 2008, at the end of 2021, it would have been worth nearly $80,000. Its balance sheet is in excellent shape, enabling it to withstand anything unexpected in the economy in 2023 while also having the cash to jump on the appropriate acquisition opportunities. It's cheap with an earnings yield of nearly 16%, double its five-year average. Up more than 25% in 2023, it's just getting started. Number 3. Ensign Group Ensign Group is the seventh largest position in SPDRS and P600 small cap growth ETF with a 0.52% weighting. If you've owned this stock for the past five years, you've done well. The provider of post acute care and other healthcare services has seen its stock appreciate by 268%, eight times SPDRS and P600 small cap growth ETF, and five times the S&P 500. On February 1st, 
The company announced it closed on its purchase of the operations at 20 skilled nursing facilities in California, ranging in size from 49 beds to 148. It signed triple net leases between 18 and 20 years with the owner of the properties, Sabra Healthcare REIT. In addition, it will sublease three of the properties to another healthcare services provider. As a result of its latest move, it has operations at 286 properties across 13 states. 26 of the properties also have senior living facilities. In 2022, Ensign earned $235.7 million, $4.14 a share, on $3.0 billion in revenue. As you can see, it's not an easy business to make money from, which is a blessing and a curse. To make more money, it's got to keep adding properties and beds to its roster. For example, in 2022, its gross margin was 17%. Autodesk, which just laid off 250 people, has a 90% gross margin. Kroger, which operates grocery stores, an industry known to have extremely low margins, has a 22% gross margin. So, the curse is that it's not easy to make money in this business. The blessing is that very few will try, and even fewer will be successful. Insign Group is the latter. Thanks for spending some time with us today, Timely Investment Research. We're so glad you did. If you found value in today's video, please give us a like, hit that bell icon to never miss an upload, and hey don't forget to subscribe.